Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to push water uphill. Only flowing, falling water coming down this drive pipe here. It activates the water hammer effect. Every time that valve closes, water is shot up into the pressure tank and out the delivery pipe. So, in this video, I want to consider what happens when you have multiple animals in your farm or homestead. So you've got pigs, goats, chickens, you name it. They all have to have watering troughs and you have to fill them up because they're not going to do it themselves. So today I want to try out float valves in different storage tanks for the animals. So let's go up to the shop and install a float valve into a bucket. For you, it would be more of a stock tank uh, for your goats and pigs and stuff. So let's go up there and get that installed real quick. For this example, I'm going to be directly hooking up the watering tanks to the ram pump using this garden hose. It will come up here and let's say this area right here is where my storage tanks are for the animals. Now I also have storage up on the hill here. There's a pipe that runs under the ground all the way up to the top of the hill and then back down and that's also a valid way to use the ram pump but in this case i just wanted to see what it'd be like to water multiple troughs with uh, direct feed from the ram pump here's the float valve that i'm going to be using i bought this on amazon it's a three quarter inch port and i'm really hoping that it allows a lot of water to flow through the reason i'm kind of testing this one out is because I want to use this in my ram pump testing. So if it can produce around three to four gallons per minute, that would be awesome. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this installed. So I found a hole saw that I believe will fit this correctly. I'm gonna try to go right through here. May have to shave down some of this little rib piece here. All right, let's see about getting this in here. I have a feeling it needs to have that piece removed. <laughs> yeah, so two things. Need to slightly shave off some of that hole back here, and then we'll have to remove some of that front as well. Got that shaved down pretty good. Let's see how well this works. I may have a little bit of a leak because it's not a flat surface, but I think it's going to do pretty good. Let's get this tightened down enough though. On the hose coming up from the creek, I've just got a typical Y splitter, which is adjustable so you can turn things on and off. We'll keep both of them open. The first thing I'm going to do is water the chickens here with the Farmer Brad watering bucket. And it also has a float valve in there. Now because this tube is so small, this should actually fill up pretty slow, whereas our other uh, valve down there should fill up a lot faster. So let's go ahead and turn this on to here. And then let's go ahead and hook up our other hose to go further uphill. There's first watering bucket. Our hose goes up here to the next bucket. This could be halfway across your farm doesn't really matter uh, but it's got the hose coming in here and it's got this right here for turning off the water now theoretically you could have another T or a Y here and move on to the next tank and just keep going and going because as all of these fill and close off it will have more pressure for the next one down line now the watering bucket is so small that one will probably take forever and this one will probably fill up quick and that one will still be going. Anyway, that's my theory. Let's go test it out. Currently, the ram pump is filling tanks at the top of my hill. So let's go ahead and turn that off down here with this valve. Okay, now let's turn on the valve going up to our new tanks. Yeah, it's an awkward angle. There we go. All right, got it. 
we're right at the pressure where the uh, racket balls are wanting to inflate and deflate. Let's turn on the chicken watering bucket first here. Oh, we have to let all the air out of this pipe. There's a good bit of it in there. You can hear it cycle at the pump. Well, that's gonna take a while. Let's go ahead and open this one. You can also hear the air in that one. You don't hear it whenever it's turned off. All right, we're about to get some water. Up oh, there it is. Okay. It's just reached in, just now reaching our bucket. Let's see what kind of flow rate we have whenever it's at full here. Well, that's certainly nowhere near enough to uh, fill up a ram pump. Let's see. Looks like it may not have the best of a seal in there. <laughs> Let's go check on the uh, chicken watering bucket. Well, that one is actually filling up a lot faster than I was anticipating. So uh, we are getting some pretty good chicken water down here. Now I wonder if, because this one is running, if it's letting any air in to the one up above. Anyway, we'll see. When this one stops here in a moment, we'll go up to the other one and see what kind of flow rate we have up there. I think I'll also hook up the regular garden hose to my storage tanks up top and see what kind of flow rate that larger valve has with a much higher volume of water. Our chicken watering bucket is just dripping slightly down there, which means it's basically off, but let's give it a little bit more water just to make sure that it's totally off. And then we'll go check out the other one up the hill a little bit. Okay, that's basically off. It is definitely putting out more water than it was before. Definitely not gonna be anywhere fast enough to have a ram pump hooked up to this. I may end up trying one of those stock tank watering devices. It's got a, a little box with a float underneath, and that way it can hopefully put out more water than this. But that is working. So if you have uh, you know, a couple hundred gallon tank for some uh, goats or pigs or whatever. This may be a valid option. And you can see that it definitely filled up two tanks at once. So filling up more than that should not be much of an issue. I feel like that's a valid test to show that it's possible to fill up multiple tanks from a single ram pump. I've got that disconnected now and I've brought the hose back over here. So it's coming straight down from the storage tanks up on the hill. This should give us a better idea of the flow rate. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Big difference. That's more of what I was looking for for my ram pump tests. So I can use this bucket and be consistent with my tests. So every time the ram pump pulls more water out, it will just fill it back up. Check that out. Okay, so here it is. I'm testing a ram pump. They won't be using this much water. Cool, I like that a lot. No drips either. Okay, there you have it. That concludes the two tests that I wanted to do today. It's possible to fill up probably an infinite number of storage tanks as long as they are all within the head pressure lift of the ram pump. Um, so you could have one here, one down there, and even one up on top of the hill, and they would all fill at some point. Of course, the ones higher up would take longer to fill because the ram pump produces less water as it goes up the hill. And as far as being able to do my ram pump tests without having to keep filling that bucket up, that's gonna work out real well. That was quite a flow rate from the storage tanks up top. I think I measured that uh, right down here by the garden space, it was uh, 15 PSI. So that's a lot um, at this point right here. Well, if you want to purchase a ram pump, I have four different sizes for sale on Amazon, eBay, and uh, landahouse.com. They will look 
something like this with a stainless steel valve a pressure tank and a pvc inline valve um, so they've got sizes half inch three quarter inch one inch and one and a quarter uh, the one that's down in the creek right now that you saw is my one inch pump so also if you want to check out the farmer brad watering bucket i have a link to that down below i uh, don't make anything off of it but uh, you'll get a little discount so you can water your chickens that way and i've also got the link in the description down below for this valve that i purchased on amazon so if you need to fill up a tank uh, your water won't be this dirty hopefully <laughs> but uh, it will refill itself which is pretty handy i think okay thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye